Hello everyone, this is Big Benedict. We're on mission 11 of Devil May Cry 1 on Dante Must Die difficulty. And this is a, a, t a difficult chapter because we're going to have that boss battle with Nilo Angelo, part 2 of 3. And if you go through the door at the beginning of the chapter, you can get this yellow orb. It's pretty easy. What you want to do is just bounce off the, the Sin Scissors. And then we'll be fighting on the second of the three encounters with Nilo Angelo. And uh, I guess I should explain why. Um, excuse me. I, I should explain why I often say it's like mission. You know, like this one was 11 of 23. I'll always say this of how many chapters. It's because not many people do it. Like I'll say, you know, it's the nightmare fight, fight part one of one of three or two of three or three of three, whatever we're on. It's just. I guess I'm just kind of anal about things, and I like to. Um, uh, just let people know what fight we're on and how many to expect. But anyway, on that death scissors right there, the best thing to do, besides using the air raid, is to use the devil trigger and come down on him three times. That's all it takes to kill that guy. And I I grinded for money a little bit over here, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't even it was about like 15 minutes of grinding for money. But I know a much better place to grind for money if you're looking to get a lot of money. It's it's on the um, it's right before the final encounter with Nilo Angelo. Uh, you could do this before and after that fight. What you want to do is uh, kill all of the the nobodies that are in that hall because they give out those huge red orbs that are worth a lot of money. And uh, I thought that this spot over here in the well was the most lucrative spot, but I discovered that those nobodies are are are, are just as easy to kill as the blades. If you want to grind for money off the blades in this chapter, but uh, what you can do is uh, just kill as many as you want to. On uh, I, I can't remember what chapter it is, but right before the right before you use the quicksilver to do the the third the third um, the final Nilo Angelo boss fight, you'll just kill a bunch of the nobodies, and then uh, don't even go and fight him to save your data, and you know. If you want to fight them, go ahead, but always save your data to reflect what you have. How this game works now, th I think I did. I elaborated on this the last time I did this guide, but not th this time what the save feature does in this game. It only saves, like, it saves all the red orbs you pick up, like all the, you know, all the red orbs that they just put on the map for you. It saves the yellow orbs you get, the blue orbs, rather. Um, but it doesn't save the the action sequences that you do like if you if you grind it for money here for a couple of hours you saved your data because it's it's very wise to do that and then you saved it and then press reset even at let's start over if even if you went over here and got the chalice and grinded for money and you had the chalice in your inventory and then you grinded for money for an hour or so you saved your data and then you press reset uh, it'll start you at the beginning of the chapter but every of the lucrative items that you got will um, have disappeared. Like you couldn't, you can't just keep re-getting. Um, you can't keep re-getting items. You can't keep re-getting the blue orbs and any of the red orbs that are on the map. Um, but what what won't be in your inventory is the blue chalice. So you have to keep getting the blue chalice every single time. It's rather annoying, but it's an annoyance that I have managed to keep at bay since I have um, committed myself to using fewer items. Um, I will be using, I think a couple, of, I think I use two holy waters on Nilo Angelo, but I don't use any healing items. Um, up here I wanted to point out how you can get these hidden orbs. Um, like, like when you reset and came back here, you can only do this one time. Even if you come back to the level after resetting, it doesn't let you keep getting those orbs. But um, you can you can kill these guys to your heart's content and get the uh, I don't know what it's called I guess it's like a, a combo exclamatory sequence up at the top that goes up to um, what is it what's that exclamation word classic or something I, I don't know what it is stylish I think is the word stylish. But you can get that up, and the longer you keep it up, the more lucrative orbs you'll get. Um, but that that blue orb right there, that was uh, for killing all the blades. So now we have all the items. 
We're going to take on Nilo Angelo. I personally feel that this fight is very challenging because the environment is just horrible. Uh, I mean, you'll be get you'll get caught behind the fountains, behind the the columns, and everything. So you might want to save these these green orbs to act as healing items. They don't heal you as much as the uh, the vital stars in this game, but they're worth a shot. You might want to use them. But if you use them, they're gone for good. Um, but if you restart the chapter, then I think then they'll be yeah. Then they those things will be there on the map. Um, but what I do on this guy is a very heavy-handed and aggressive combo of the the kick 13 on him, and then I come down with the inferno. And other than that, I, okay, okay. So here's me dropping a couple of holy waters just to loosen this guy up a little bit. And uh, that's all the items I use. But you notice that I have his health below health, uh, below half, and he's almost going to be killed. The thing about this guy is that he's got some. Um, what does he have? He's got all the standard combos he had before. You know, he's got he's got the same range. He does the same taunt. It's just that you'll be rolling. See how? Watch as I roll around. Just you know, just just watch. He teleports too, which is really annoying. But time and time again, I just ca get caught in the environment over here. Um, looks like this run was one where I picked up that healing item, and it gave me a lot of my health back. So, there really is no good place to fight this guy. Seriously, I mean, this environment is horrible, but what I do, though, is to build... See, see, look at my, see how I'm rolling? I'm rolling right there, I'm getting caught, I'm getting hit because I'm rolling, and it's not letting me get out of that little jam. Okay, I decided to finish him off with the holy water, but, you know, that fight, I, I can't condone this environment. It's just... It's just not even good. So, hopefully the next time we fight this guy, you know, it, it's going to be a catastrophe because he's so difficult, but um, I'm going to try to practice him as much as I can and get good at him. The fights that I really like and that I think are really fair and challenging are the Griffin fights, and we'll be fighting the second of the three ones pretty soon. So just drop down here and we'll go to the next mission.